It doesn't matter, eight, nine, one, 17, 20, no matter what, I will be forever the myth. But Sergio Lee was on a whole nother planet. Nobody looked like, nobody, nobody could even think about looking like that. I, I, Sergio Leave is the game changer because I think he showed that you can put mass where mass isn't supposed to be. I mean, he did it in Cuba, like I mean, the, in the '60s. <laughs> he did it at a time where it's not fashionable. They're, they're just people that stand out to be like, wow, this is Mr. Olympia yeah. at the time. I mean, it's like something from another planet. Amazing. Sergio Oliva was so far ahead of his time, in at least one competition, the others didn't bother turning up. The only man to outmuscle Arnold Schwarzenegger, Oliva used bodybuilding as his ticket out of Cuba. Because I know I'm not going to beat this guy. He's got natural blessings in his body, his proportions, his size, everything. It's just magnificent. I've never seen a bodybuilder like him. Famous pose, you know the. Pose. Yeah, very few people oh can do that with their arms over head make pose. Make it look good. Yeah, make it look good. He could do that, and you couldn't believe it. It's like Mr. Olympia should be a standout. It's like not a little bit better than the other guys. Standout. Arthur Jones was the one that really brought genetics, you know, as a factor. It wasn't really talked about before. Like, you know, it was like, you know, your potential of a muscle to grow is limited by the length of the muscle belly because it can never be wider than it is long and it wouldn't function. So if you've got long muscle bellies, you have the potential to build more muscle mass. And Sergio Oliva had uniformly long muscle bellies on, like, everywhere in his body. Um, it's probably the most genetically gifted he bodybuilder a, ever. He was the most genetically gifted. I would body. think so. Yeah. Wow, that's a pretty powerful thing to say, right yeah. there. Ronnie was very gifted, but I would say Sergio was probably had the best genetics. And look what the guy looked like in the late '60s with what they had available. And more importantly for Sergio Leva is the joints, right? I mean, the, you, nobody's been born with that type of configuration. Looked at him, the matrix didn't say a word. The place was quiet. They just stared and stared at him. He was absolutely the most wonderful, fabulous sight you can imagine. I tried the older sport, I tried the boxing, the running, the wrestling, I tried every time I played baseball, but those, those guys in Cuba, they'll mean, no break. The only break I got, it was through the weight. That's when I become an away. Walks the beat here about two times a day, you know. Like as, as big as he is, nobody want to mess with him. It's one of the most gifted genetic bodybuilders there ever was. This huge chest, huge arms, flaring thighs, tiny waist. I mean, he was just this incredible display of genetics. And everybody was impressed. No, no, nobody's ever not been impressed by Sergio Oliva.
Sergio Oliva was the man to beat Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1969. It was said that Sergio got his name because when you saw his physique, you still couldn't believe it was real. Arnold confirmed that myth in a 1977 autobiography. He wrote, Then for the first time I saw Sergio Oliva in person. I understood why they called him the myth. It was as jarring as if I'd walked into a wall. He destroyed me. He was so huge, he was so fantastic, there was no way I could even think of beating him. I admitted my defeat and felt some of my pump go away. I tried, but I'd been so taken back by my first sight of Sergio Oliva that I think I settled for second place before we walked out on the stage. I never liked to admit defeat, but I thought Sergio was better. There were no two ways about it. In the world of bodybuilding, if you've had a great body once, you can have a great body again. If you've thrilled the fans in the past, you can thrill them again. The years stand still. I'm not rich, but I feel like a million dollars. And the return of the myth, Sergio Oliva last won the title in 1969. A former Mr. World, a former Mr. Universe, a three-time Mr. When he was at his peak, he was unbelievable. Sergio Oliva, who probably best illustrates the fact that this is a sport where someone can excel well into their 40s. And Sergio just rewrote the books in terms of, you know, round muscle bellies on the small joints. He had roundness of the muscles, the small waist, the size of his arms when he hit the poses. I've never shot back in my chair at anybody since. I met Sergio, I had never seen anybody that genetically gifted, still to this day I have. 